Hi guys, I'm quite thrilled to come along this uh, fourth and last video about the Seri Visit Mini. And in this video, we will focus more about what happened in the field. We will see the consequences of the pre-dating campaign. I remind you that this pre-dating campaign should start three weeks prior your travel, when you have bought your ticket. And so you remember, you aim one city, in one country, especially if you have only one week of vacation. We will see the consequences and why it is so important to manage properly this pre-dating campaign to make things easier and to smooth the process during your dating time in the former Soviet Union. That's very important. And I will give you some dating tips and I will bring back some real situations that has happened to me or to some other people. Let's check it out together. Why contacting too much in advance those women and establishing a likely correspondence and more generally are beating you back. So first of all, if you start to establish a too high level of connection with a woman, you, you automatically, psychologically, you will start to focus emotionally on this woman. That's quite normal. But the problem is maybe you will ignore some other woman that could be a better prospect for you. Because, of course, you will try to meet those women and to chase them, the one you like, first. But everything is possible. Just an example, maybe she's 8 kilo more than that you, you believe, or 10 kilo. And you will meet her and instantly your interest will disappear. Or maybe she will not like you and after one hour she just want to run out. And that happens. This is respectful. I mean, this is life. You cannot please to anybody. So, the second problem you will have is if you are establishing a too high level of communication. So what is the level of communication? The level of communication is the frequency by the length. Length, total time spent with a woman by the frequency. And the frequency is how many times per day are you in communication or contacting this woman. Even if it's only a few words on a short message sending, if it's every hour, it means that you have an early communication. And now you don't see the thing coming. But when you will travel, what will happen? She will know. Even if you lie, even if you hide this, because you will be not present on the radar, on the screen, for 24 hours, she will understand that you are traveling. This will raise an orange flag for her. And after, when you will arrive, because you will be no longer capable to maintain such level of communication that she was used to have with you. And now you have disappeared for two days or three days, because one day of, of transportation, the, the day you arrive, you are meeting another woman, the day number two in the country, you meet another one, and you have scheduled her the third day. <laughs> so now you have disappeared for three days. Basically, maybe you have sent one or two S message sending, and this is an, an orange or red flag for her. And they are not stupid, they are very suspicious, and they understood, because of course I speak only about one woman, but you have maybe five or six leads. So the first two leads you have met, there are three or four of the women who are waiting, and you have cut the communication. So it bites you back. So if you are setting too much level of, of communication in intensity and in frequency, it will bite you back. Because the people are used to have a link with some other one. And if this link is quite regular, 
they have something like a connection. This is humanly speaking, this is like you are tired with someone for a possible appointment. This is what you want, a possible appointment. And uh, this is what she wants. And now if you are cutting this link, the alarm is ringing in her head. And in fact, you will lose a lot of leads because of this. If you talk and write too much before, you will be not free as you, as you can think. So the, one of the rules, number one, is when you will be in the country, force you to continue to write something to the woman with whom you are usually involved because you will still get this little connection. But if you have set up this connection as being minimal, all will be fine. Because for example, you send one short message sending few words per, per day or every two days. So you are free to move. But now if you send a message every hour and you are with an, an appointment with several other women, for all those women with whom you are orally communicating, <laughs> guess what? What is this, what this thing? So you are just condemning yourself. You are just shooting a bullet in your feet. You are simply damaging the work you have done before. See right now that this is a very different story than the usual writing to few women and visiting one. Because you are supposed to have a very strong um, background, a very strong history with this one. But this is the contrary in Visit Many. You don't want a strong connection. And so all you need to keep light everything. The key is the appointment. The starting point of everything is the appointment. And anyway, there are no relationship without an appointment. There are some guys who believe that it happened on Skype, that the story is done before. But I told you that between 50 and 70% of the meeting in case of visiting one are not working. And we don't speak about the usual scammer. The power of visit many is simply because you are going and you are traveling. This is giving you a boost effect, but you have to communicate this properly to the woman. I will tell you a little story that happened to me 12 years ago. I was on a site, it was a monthly site, it was, I would say, a honest site, even if there are scammers everywhere. And a woman put a like on, on my profile. And I was not having my tickets, so I was not chit-chatting with any woman, basically. And suddenly I decided to go and I had my ticket, so I started my pre-dating campaign. And that was three weeks or four weeks maximum before. And of course I sent a message to this one because I like her profile, and no answer. I wrote her that I will come to her city. Her city, not her country. No answer. And after, let's say, four days or six days, I rewrote her and I told her, oh, I don't understand because I wrote you, you like in my profile, I wrote you, I told you that I will come uh, in your city and I don't understand what happened. And she answered me this. And uh, for me, that was a real eye opener. She told me, you know, a lot of guys are telling me that they are coming and even on short notice just to force an answer and start a communication. Oh my gosh. So I realized that a lot of guys or some guys, but for her probably <laughs> that was quite a lot, 
are just lying about what they will do. And so we come back to these general rules for the insider and professionals that 90-95% of men are just writing and they never put their ass in the plane because there are no, no real intention, willingness to, to travel and they will never marry and so on. So it makes sense. This is quite funny, this 95%, 95%. And look what is very strange. 95% of the dating industry is a scam. And they consider themselves to be not really a scam because in the mind of the scammers, their task is just to help the lonely guy and to fulfill this loneliness. The second aspect of the boost effect is that you will have access when you will be and only when you will be in the former Soviet Union to a large pool of women that you will never and never and never meet by writing to them because they don't want to write to men. They only want to meet you when you are in the former Soviet Union. And there are more and more women like this. They are not interested to waste their time by writing for many reasons. But they are ready to give you one hour to meet you and to have this appointment and to know you. Why? For example, they could have had in the past some disappointment with guy with whom they were writing and they have stopped definitively to write to those men. The second thing is with the agency, I told you that a lot of those agencies, most of them are just a pure scam. But the truth is not black or white. I mean, during the online communication, those agencies could use a panel of writers, people who are doing the online communication for money. But you can go on some agency who are doing such a thing and you could also meet some genuine woman. This is a different type. Of course, you could have the usual predator, but among the database they have, they could have some genuine woman. And this is a possibility that you can explore. And I will tell you a little secret. I met my ex-wife in an agency and this agency I was satisfied and I gave to this agency a score of 90%, okay, which is quite high for me. But later I learned because I had some acquaintance uh, working in Ukraine that this agency had been caught faking letters to their clients. So if you are a Western guy, you say, okay, this agency was a scam. But me, I met more than 25 women and I married one. Of course, okay, to be, to be honest, among the 25 or more, one tried to scam me, one among 25. But the other one were genuine. I didn't notice anything wrong with those ladies. So how is it possible that the agency could even a likely honest one try to scam you because you are very far away. So you are not considered as serious because when you will be in the agency, you will face the employee and the boss and people and you are a real person. And in Ukraine, if you are a nice guy, well-educated, well-dressed, if you are a nice prospect, a nice lead for a woman, there will be a lot of women who will be interested. And those people, of course, they want to make some money because meeting translator is generating such money. But they also want people succeeding in the relationship and in the marriage. And they probably know a cousin or a sister or a friend who could be interested to meet a nice foreigner for a serious relationship. And if they believe that you are serious, and in fact, if you can convince them that what you want is 
not irrealistic, they will likely to work for you. And that's what happened. What I want to tell you is simply that when you are in the country, the perspective will change to your benefit. I would like to give you an example of managing on the field the problem of visiting many and what could happen and what is perfectly acceptable for a woman if you do it in the right manner. I was dating a woman, she liked me, I liked her and after three or four days she told me I'm about to make a travel in Italy and in Czechia, would you like to come with me? And I thought, okay, I like this woman and why I need to stay in Ukraine and date was a woman and I would like to know her better. So I, I told her, of course, yes. I was about to go with her and the day before I had another appointment with a matchmaker and that was already scheduled. And I was, I didn't want to go to this appointment, but finally I did. And the problem is I liked also very much the second woman. And she was a very sweet heart. She was very well balanced in her head and uh, she was absolutely a mortgage material. We had a crazy moment because I invited her to dance in the restaurant, something that I never seen in Ukraine. So that was a big surprise for her. And um, that was very romantical, of course. And after the second appointment, I was packing for the travel with the other lady. And so I have to, to take a decision about this. And what I did, I will explain you right now. I simply wrote a little short message sending because her knowledge of English was limited. And I told her, you know, I really like the meeting and I really like you, but I met a woman that proposed me to travel with her. I'm a man and I already have taken my decision when I met you. And I told her, if it's not working, would you uh, like me to recontact you? Simply, something simple, direct, honest, frank, and I received a short message sending and she told me yes. I went to this travel and after four days I knew that it was not gonna to work with the first lady. And I took a train from Florence to Rome and to take a plane to come back to Ukraine directly. And when we met the second appointment, that was insane. She was with the translators, matchmaker, and she was waiting me in, in a mall. Um, she was, I needed to go from stairs below and she was waiting me with a red flower. And after we went on the first floor, it was like a little bar before going uh, to the restaurant. And she started to carefully remove her, her makeup and she started to kiss me in front of everybody in the bar, on the lips, not on the cheek. And after we went to the restaurant and that was so emotional. The atmosphere was so emotional that with the wine helping three of us, we were almost crying all together, the, the matchmaker, me. So you can understand right now that it is, if you manage things correctly, it is perfectly possible to mix different lady if you do this smoothly. So in the end, what is the goal to visit many? The goal of a visit many is not to have on spot several girlfriends, especially if you stay only one week, there are very few chances that you will finish with two or three girlfriends, almost impossible. The purpose of such travel, visit many, is to find, I would say, one or two women interesting. Maybe you will have directly a girlfriend and you will try to follow the story and to keep her and to know if she's a good prospect for a long-term relationship or a marriage, whatever you want. But most of the time you don't get a girlfriend directly. 
you will establish a high level of connection probably with one or two women. Why one or two? Because after it starts to be difficult to hire a high level of connection and dating two or three women in a week in the same city. The purpose is finally to have one who deserve a visit one trip. That means that during the visit many you will try to find a good woman for you that you like and this woman is also showing you her interest and so what you want is the next trip to go and to visit her and only her. So this will be a visit one only and you will try before the second trip to establish correspondence, real correspondence, and to nurture this link to have the best time with her and to know her better and better. That is exactly what you could do with a visit many. However, there are some people who are more liberal about this and Okay, I don't know what you want. Maybe you just want to have a local girlfriend that you will see from time to time. Or the purpose also could be to invite her to come. Uh, if you want to marry and you want a very serious long-term relationship, I would advise not to do such a thing. I would prefer you to come again in her country and to spend time with her in her city. We will discuss about this in our other video. But for a very serious relationship, the second trip should be again in this city. So because now you start to know better the city, it will be a little easier for, for you. So you can also meet a woman very naturally and it is known that um, from the Soviet Union are not shy when it comes to approach a man. It happened to me one time, I was about to marry and waiting on the terrace, my next train. And a woman was walking on the street and she made a stop and she looked at me and she needed to make the turn and to cross the fences. There was a little door, a little gate to enter in the terrace and she was, this is what she did and she came to, to talk to me directly and she seated in front of me and now I started to try to figure out what was happening. I thought okay maybe she's a Russian teacher or English teacher, she wants to speak some English with me because I am a foreigner or she has something to sell me but very quickly I realized that that was not the case she stayed four minutes five minutes maximum and she paid her drink and in fact she was eating on me purely and simply she dropped her phone number in the hand and she left and of course I was I was very serious about my marriage so I put this phone number in the trash 20 minutes after but this is not in common and uh, it happens time to time to any uh, guys in the former Soviet Union. This is also something that can happen to you.